I've seen a bit of buzz online about something called the Feynman Technique and how you can use it to improve your grades. Well, the Feynman Technique is essentially the idea that if you can explain a concept in simple language and perhaps to someone else and answer their questions about it, then it's really good practice for your own learning and understanding. I think the technique is vaguely named after Richard Feynman um, because this is sort of an idea that he spoke about. One of his quotes is that uh, if you can't simply explain an idea, then you probably don't understand it well enough. Although Feynman would probably be surprised to have this idea named specifically after him because it is kind of a common sense idea. Um, anyone can sort of see that if you're able to explain a concept, um, that's going to help you make sure you know it yourself. I don't think we need to be so uptight about the exact steps to learn through the Feynman technique, um, but there are definitely ways that we can practically implement it into our own learning. One of them is simply just talking to other people. If you're a student, probably at university, um, then just talking to your peers and classmates uh, about the idea that you're learning. Um, trying to study with them is great because whilst you can also ask your questions, you can answer theirs. I don't think that as students we should be shy of asking our peers and friends questions on, on how something works or how to do a certain part of an assignment because you might feel guilty that you're taking up their time and effort but really you are sort of helping them as well. Um, as long as it's not too over the top, I think they would appreciate putting into practice explaining something they know. So I would say don't be shy to ask people for help um, because it's going to help the both of you. Another way you can probably implement this technique is just posting on forums, whether it's physics forums or any other type of internet space. Um, there's always people asking um, very intellectual or curious questions about every topic and if you think you're an expert in something um, or you're studying to become an expert in something go and check out some of the relevant questions online and you may be surprised to find some of the gaps in your knowledge. Um, I think answering questions on those sites is really helpful. It puts knowledge out there to the world but it also, like I said, helps you find out what you don't understand. I know I definitely appreciate the people that post on those kinds of forums because they've helped me many times in the past and I like to think that they also gain some benefit from answering these questions. This whole idea of explaining something simply mimics a technique I've heard of called rubber duck debugging which is used I think widely in coding circles. Um, because what it is is essentially having a little rubber duck or a toy or something on your desk and when you've reached a point in your task where you don't know why it's not working, you don't know why your code seems to have a bug um, or why something's going wrong, instead of just staring at the code for hours on end and getting nowhere, you try to explain to the rubber duck how the code works, how every line of the code is working. Um, and usually through doing that, you pick up on the mistake yourself. You realize that something in there doesn't quite make logical sense. Um, and it's a way to debug your own programs. It's all, I think, a similar idea. And like I said, it's kind of common sense. Um, you don't really need a certain label to this technique, but I think it's good to keep in mind that um, as well as always trying to ask questions, make sure you're trying to answer them as well because both of those components are going to make you a really good learner and someone that really understands what they're trying to learn.